All right, I don't do webinars. But wait a minute, you may have seen me in a few recently. Well, let me address that. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Education. I consider no matter what, the that I am providing a learning experience, not just a passive sit back lecture. Um, and a lot of times webinar platforms make it really hard to interact. Uh, so I'm gonna give you some tips of how I could make it engaging um, and just some thoughts around it uh, if, if you are going into a webinar platform. So tips for engagement. First of all, start with high energy. Uh, be present that everything is about you and the camera and everyone watching it um, on the other side, whether it's live or the recording. So definitely consider those differences. I'm sometimes I'm considering that recording and it's easy to consider only that. Uh, so those pauses can feel uncomfortable, but the learning experience live uh, is there's some different ways to, to pull your audience in to, turn them into participants, um, even with a webinar platform. So often a webinar platform means you can't see anyone, you can't hear them, um, and maybe it's as limited to chat. And that's kind of also like a live stream experience uh, as well. So, and I'll link that video too for some, some tips for live streaming that I wanted to share with you. All right, so... One thing I need to watch for myself too is how much I use my hands and the camera. That's something that I just thought of. So high energy and interaction, build it in as much as you can. So giving me a like or on, on LinkedIn, there's other, you know, clap and, and light bulbs on, um, on YouTube. It's, you know, giving the video like, but there's live chat too. Um, and you, depending on what platform you're on, you might not be on any of those because you're within the webinar platform and it's exclusive to those watching uh, as well. So uh, build it in, whether it's emojis, likes, comments in chat, questions in chat, address them right away or say, oh, I see your comments. I'll get right back to that one. Have a team member uh, be tracking questions and comments. You know, you can say, give me an exclamation mark if you feel like that's an important part of this, uh, you know, this topic. So build in as much interaction as possible and working with a great host. Um, I was part of a couple of learning days recently and the host was amazing in drawing out the energy in between the speakers so it's not just flat one-sided not monotone um so working with someone that kind of helps be beat that up your intro uh and and all of that it, you know can help too i had two experiences recently and both were great but one I felt even better about. And part of it was because I was feeling the energy from the group, even through that webinar platform. Um, so, you know, a couple things too is thinking about the learning experience journey before, during, and after. So at the beginning, if there's that, you know, it's being recorded, be, you know, ready to go. Um, that people have the links ahead of time, if that's in your control, that someone's looking after the tech or anyone having problems or questions that you're able to focus on the content in your participants uh, during and later, thinking about the people watching it afterwards. If you're asking a question, just say those who are live here. And if you're watching it with the replay, that's awesome too. Put it in the comments below. Uh, you know, just people feel there. Um, that it, I, a lot of times I'll ask, especially if I'm offering something for free, that I get a copy of the recording, that how long they're going to have it on their platform, who has access. Um, a quote is always really a nice way to say thank you, uh, you know, to appreciate the time and effort. And, and there's a lot of effort that goes into learning experiences. It's not just here's the slide deck, you know, want to put in the energy, put in the time, tweaking it for that, that group. How long is it going to be before the recording is getting out to everybody or that you'll get the, a copy of the recording, how you can use it. Um, is there going to be a follow-up email? Do you have about, so the thinking about that dur during is often what we're thinking about. 
Uh, and so during too, I make sure I have a QR code or link and, and different things ready for a resource that people can ask you questions and follow up with you, giving all of that built in, making sure that you're allowed to do that. It's might not be able to sell anything, but that people are getting that added value and opportunities um, as well. Um, engaging with my energy, using great uh, visuals that are inclusive, describing them, um, that it's an accessible learning experience. I often will ask, is the closed captioning turned on or an option uh, to make sure that as well, that when I'm sharing screen or something that I'm sharing sound too, if I'm able to do sound effects and, and engage in that part. So especially with webinars, so that even in this recording that I'm sharing the sound, not just through my mic, sometimes I'll ask a question uh, and I'll play this. And especially on a webinar, it sounds like this. Yep. It, it, it can sound like that when you're not getting anything. Um, on some platforms like MS Teams or WebEx, the culture is to be off camera. Uh, so that's like webinar type style too. So if you're in a platform that has a poll or a Mentimeter or AHA slides, whatever you're using, that you can have a QR code and the link and then have it live, a word cloud, or you know, you're seeing the poll change um, or you're sharing back, oh, you know, 50% of you feel this in a recent workshop. Um about a pick your own adventure participant directed, I gave the choice. Do you want me to show my second camera and show you my um, uh, office? Or do you want me to show you the avatar option? Uh, and I'll I'll do that right now too. And it was 50, 50%. So I wasn't expecting that. So I ended up doing both. But you know, anything you can to give that choice, that engagement, um, if it's a webinar style where you're not able to bring people onto camera, this is what I'm talking about for this context um, as well. And a follow-up evaluation too, that uh, is that built in? Can you get the results? How quickly are you going to get the results? You want um, some of that too. And then that wrap-up resource follow-up uh, that, that you have all of that um, too. So those are some ways to make it not a webinar. Uh, it still might be that presentation lecture style. Some are more restrictive for engagement than others. It definitely feeds a facilitator and speaker to have something. Um, otherwise, like right now, I'm bringing this all to you and it's only a recording. Uh, and the way I'm building engagement into that is put a comment below. What do you think? And I respond to those comments. Give this video a like. That's a, the way to engage with me and fuel that I create these. Um, and a lot of times the best fuel for me is also give me something that's a problem you're having when I'm working with clients and I create a video very quickly <laughs> um, because I'm wanting to serve and help. So let me know, does this help you? Uh, I really want to hear from you. Otherwise it's that flat experience when I'm not getting anything and not even the views on YouTube lately, the views are coming through the shorts and not these longer videos that should I keep doing these? Let me know. Does this help you um, as well? Share it with other people. Comment. Uh, you know, all of this then builds the profile that more people will see it. So I appreciate that to let me know. Do I keep making these? Um, and uh, thanks for watching this or listening or reading the additional blog and article down below. Follow me on different platforms. When you are subscribed here on YouTube, then you get a notification because sometimes I add an extra short uh, or uh, if you're following me on the other platforms, it's a, a reel or TikTok or whatever it is. But I put a lot into the YouTube channel. That's my first spot that I go to um, and share extra tips when something's come up. So if you're subscribed, then you find out. And that's really a non-pushy way to access great information, I hope. So thanks again. My name is Patricia Regeer with Regeer Education, helping you turn an audience into participants, especially in the webinar context. Thanks for checking this out.